friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about minimization of DFA minimization of DFA means removing those states of DFA whose presence or absence does not affect the language accepted by the DFA to minimize DFA first we have to remove unreachable states then we have to detect equivalent states or we can call them non-distinguishable states and merge them and after this we should have to remove dead states so first of all we will study about what the unreachable states are unreachable states are those states of DFA which are not reachable from initial state of DFA on applying any string of input symbol. Now look at this DFA. In this DFA, whatever string of input symbols you apply, DFA will never reach the states Q5 and Q7. Right? So here Q5 and Q7 are unreachable states so when we minimize DFA what we have to do we have to remove these unreachable states now second is equivalent or non distinguishable states two states P and Q are equivalent if for each string of input symbols W either they both have transition to final state or they both have transition to some non-final states so after removing unreachable states what we have to do we have to detect equivalent or non-distinguishable states and we have to merge them now these are now we will study the steps to find equivalent states or non-distinguishable states and merge them First of all, we have to partition all states of DFA into two groups. One group will contain final states and other group will contain non-final states. Then find transitions of all states of each group for each input symbol. If for an input symbol, some states of a group have transition to states of one group and other states have transition to states of another group then divide the group into two groups now suppose there is a group which has states ABC and another group is uh, have some states right and uh, this group is called G2 and there is another group G3 now in this group Right. For input symbol A, states B and C have transition to those states which belong to group G2. And for the same input symbol A, state A has transition to some state which belongs to group G3. So what is happening here? Some states of this group have transition to the states of one group. Right? and other states have transitions to states of another group so we have to divide this group into two right so here we have divided this group into two one will have a state A and other group will have states B and C we have divided it on the basis of transitions because B and C have transition to the states of same group so they will remain in same group right so what is the next step repeat step 2 and 3 till we get groups which cannot be divided right? if at last two states remain in same group then they are equivalent or non distinguishable so if any group has more than one states then what we have to do we have to merge 
these states. It would be more clear when we will minimize this TFA. So first step is, what is the first step? We have to divide all states into two groups. One group will contain non-final states that is A, B, C, E and F. And other group will contain a final state D. Now we have to find the transitions of all states for all input symbols. Here we have only two input symbols. For input symbol 0, right? A has transition to B, B has transition to C, and C has transition to C. E has transition to E and F has transition to C right but for input symbol 1 A has transition to E B has transition to F and C has transition to F right E has transition to E itself and F has transition to D, right? For input symbol 1, F has transition to D. Now see here, for input symbol 1, F has transition to D, which belongs to another group G2, right? It belongs to another group G2. And uh, other members, of uh, this group has transition to the states of the group G1 right so this group G1 has to be divided into two groups right so we have divided it into two groups one group has the states which has transition to G1 for input symbol 1 and uh, other group has state F which has transition to state of G2 for input symbol 1 right now we will try to partition or divide this group G1 right now here for input symbol 1 a and E have transition to states of group 1. For 1, E has transition to E, right? And E has transition to E, right? They both belong to group G1. Now, what about BC? For input symbol 1, B has transition to state F, right, which uh, belongs to another group G2, and C has transition to F, right. So F here belongs to group G2. So again, we have partitioned this group into two. One group will have states. A, E and other group will have states B, C. Right. Now we will try to divide this group which has states A and E. Right. For input symbol 0, A has transition to B. Right, A has transition to B, which belongs to group G2. Right, and for 0, E has transition to E, which belongs to group G1. 
right so again what will we do we will partition or divide this group one will have a state a and other will have a state e because for input symbol 0 a has transition to b right which belongs to group g2 and e has transition to e for input symbol 0 which belongs to group g1 right so here for same input symbol since they have transition to the states of different groups so we have divided them now we will try to divide the group g3 which has two states p and c now see for input symbol 0 b has transition to c and c also has transition to c for input symbol 0 right it means for input symbol zeros, all states of this group has transition to the state of G3 group, right? For input symbol 1, B has transition to F and C also has transition to F, which belongs to group G4. So it means for input symbol 1, all states of this group G3 has transition to the state of same group so it means we cannot divide this group further right so it means what does it mean B and C are equivalent or non distinguishable states so we have to merge them right so after merging the states B and C we will get this DFA right here we have merged the states B and C right now what we have to do we have to remove dead states now what are the dead states dead states are those non-final states whose transitions on every input symbol terminates on themselves in this DFA Q2 is a dead state because whatever input symbol you will apply when the machine is in a state Q2 it will remain in a state Q2 right because its transitions for every input symbol terminates on itself now the DFA this one which we have got after merging the equivalent or non distinguishable states has a state E this is a dead state right so this state should be removed from the TFA to minimize the TFA so in this way we can minimize a DFA right so what we have to do in DFA uh, minimization of DFA we remove those states of DFA whose presence or absence does not affect the language accepted by the TFA thank you very much